so you want to highlight your mouse pointer like this with any color of your choice or um, maybe uh, a pen like this or probably instead of a pen you want your image to be attached to your cursor or your brand logo while you present and record your screen or probably you love uh, this one you want to focus the screen just on your mouse pointer and you want that only the area that you point to to be focused so that uh, your viewers can see clearly and follow you through whatever you are clicking then this video is for you make sure you watch to the very end and if this video gives value to you give it a thumbs up and if you are new subscribe to the channel let's get right in all right so uh, in this video i'm going to quickly show you how you can highlight your mouse pointer uh, using this particular software now this will require you to uh, download two software basically but they are pretty small software and they are safe for your computer the first software you need to download is the auto alt key uh, software that enable you to write uh, your own custom code and put on your system it is this code that uh, a professor known as a uh, boys Vat has used to create uh, a cursor highlighter uh, script so uh, professor boys uh, is a professor a teacher and he decided to uh, create a gallery of uh, tools that can make teaching very easy for himself and his colleagues so i'm going to leave a link to the two websites in the description of the video so you can click there go to uh, auto alt key and then you just come to download and you are going to download the current version at the time that you might be watching this video just go ahead and click on download current version so i'm not going to download again because i already have that in my download folder let me show you in my download folder okay so this is it this is auto alt key and uh, okay so once you've downloaded that you have to run the setup uh, the same way you run every other setup so once you've done that let's come back to the uh, boys Vat lab that is the professor's uh, website and then you have to scroll down you have to scroll down here and towards the end of the page you will see uh, this can you see this download the dot ahk script for version 2.2 .2 of cursor highlighter from google drive so once you click on this the google drive will open and then you have to download this uh, you have to download this so i also have it downloaded so i'm not going to uh do that again so i have it in my download as well let's see in my download uh okay this is it also i lighter 2.2 so i've already right click on this you can do the same just right click on it and then say send to desktop create shortcut so that you have the shortcut uh 
so you can just say um, send to desktop create shortcut then you will have a shortcut on your uh, windows desktop which is this so each time you want to use it you simply double click so in my own case let's assume so the first time you are uh, you, each time you are launching it uh, um, for the first time it's going to ask you if you want to uh, install a setting file so please let's go ahead and give it uh, that permission and it's not dangerous to your um, to your system it's just a cursor uh, a setting file okay so as as soon as you double click on it each time you want to use it each time you want to do your presentation this is what happens the last uh setting that you set is what will be applied yours might not be this highlight this was the last thing i used uh so it will switch back to uh, that particular setting and then you can uh, use that to ensure that your viewers go along with your mouse pointer now as soon as this is launched it opens up its uh, tool on the tray you can see this here cursor highlighter so if you click on it it will switch to another one uh, that you have set but I've not set any other one there so or it will turn it on and off rather so if you point here if you click on this it uh, it will switch your cursor highlighter on or off okay now if you right click on it then you can see other settings like i showed you earlier you can use a pen you can use a pen but i've changed my own pen setting to my logo so i'll show you how i did that in a minute you can also switch back to highlighter you can go back again right click and switch to focus so that it focuses on your mouse pointer all right so now let's go back and see the settings there some of the settings that we can do there let's go to setting and each time you don't need it again you can just exit and once you exit the cursor highlighter goes off until you launch again okay so let's see some of the settings quickly let's go to settings all right the first setting here is the general setting the general setting where you choose what you want type of cursor when you start the program is it cursor highlight is it picture is it a uh, focus so this is it then when cursor highlighter is launched show the uh, highlight okay then hide the highlight until it is shown by the tray you understand that is when i launch it automatically you discover that it shows the last setting so or should it hide it until you choose from the tray or through the uh, setting okay when you left click on the tray icon that is this icon that i showed you earlier when you left click what happens it should do what it says toggle cursor highlighter hmm? so that is what happens when we left click you can switch it to show the menu but you can see this one is already set to do that when you right click on the tray icon what happens it toggles i mean it shows the program menu okay so that is that now we go on to the second setting which is the highlight setting now if you have chosen highlight let's assume you have chosen highlight then let's see the highlight setting how wide or how big should the highlight be you can choose to make it thin very small and uh, you can see how small it is so as big as possible you can decide to make it a uh, 300 um, by 300 so it should be as big as this so you can this uh, set this from here then the opacity is how uh, visible that your viewers should be able to see through it so as you can see now we can see through this you can see 150 at the opacity so you can even make it lighter and uh, remove this one and make it 50 you can see it's not 
so uh, obvious anymore and you can make it 500 uh, okay sorry the highest here is 255 you can make it 255 that means you will not be able to see through it again so i don't want to do that so let's just say let's say we use a uh, 200 so you can see it's very dark so you can switch back let's say let's just make it uh, take it back to 150 all right so then the color you can choose your color from here whatever color you like to use just pick and click ok and that is uh, applied okay so let me return this back to my settings one uh, let's say 100 by 100 all right so let's say the highlight uh, left click color so when um i highlight left click so when you highlight it do nothing when you left click you can see it does nothing but i the highlight or picture when you left click okay show the different highlight when you left click so if you have this if you choose this to show different color then it simply means you can see when i'm left clicking another color will show so you can decide the size of this one too just like you did for the other one and then you can choose that different color that you want to apply okay so let's say um let's say for this i chose red and click ok so each time i left click this is what happened then i like right click the same thing just follow the same setting show different color and then you, when you right click you can see that now so now let's go to picture setting what if you have chosen picture if you chose picture let's go back to general setting and choose picture file so now let's go back to picture setting you can see the picture that is in use here but by default it comes with this blue pen so you can see this blue pen you can see this blue pen that we have so you can use this blue pen or you can decide to choose your own picture and you can change this picture to anything let me go back to this place i used this earlier i can pick this and click ok and you can see that all right then you can decide how big the ball is going to be you know we have chosen that it should uh, as for the picture setting i've chosen that it should hide the picture you can make it to do nothing which means when you are clicking if you say uh, okay do nothing let's say done so you see let's go back to setting uh, i hope that um okay go to okay sorry this highlight setting let's go to picture setting now okay so we say it should do nothing sorry when what happens when you right click and when you left click as well do nothing and then you can see that now i'm clicking on and there is nothing happening i'm clicking i'm right clicking nothing is happening okay so if you ask to hide the picture hide the picture so that briefly people will know that you are clicking or right clicking so you can toggle any of this then the offset is how far it is from your pointer let's say this one if you put this one as 50 you can see now a bit far from my pointer so you set the x and y i offset so let's let me say let me make this 30 and make this uh 30 as well okay so you can see it now and if you want it to be on top then you can leave it at 10 like i had it earlier so that it will be exactly on top of your it will go along with your pointer on the same spot okay you can make the ball as bigger big as possible make it 100 and so on so those are the settings you can do from here now let's go to focus setting what if you have chosen that you want to use focus if you have chosen to use focus okay so go to focus setting you can do the same thing here how big should it be the opacity and then the color 
that is the color around every other side the color that will cover every other side and how deep should it be if you set this to let's say 255 which is the highest it means you won't be able to see any other thing only the place you point to will be visible so you can return this back to 150 all right so then the last thing you can do here is the alt key you can set alt keys to switch so as you can see now i've set some alt keys i've set alternate f5 that is to toggle the cursor highlighter so if i press alternate f5 now you can see it goes off and when i press again the highlighter comes on then to switch the highlight i've set uh, alternate h to, to switch to highlight alternate uh p to switch to picture and alternate f to switch to focus so if i press alternate p picture alternate f for focus and alternate uh what's that h for highlight so you can set it in a way that it makes uh work easy for you so that is that is it uh i hope this video has value to you if it does then give us it make sure you give it a thumbs up and uh, i'll see you in another tutorial thanks for watching bye